Okay, so I'm gonna try to use my loud voice because Sugar Bumps is operating as my camera girl and my favorite one. And what I'm doing here is a recipe that I've uh, sort of morphed from a recipe I found in a grocery flyer where you made a chicken ring out of crescent rolls. And this, I modified this and I've had good success with it. We both like it. And what I'm doing is I'm taking leftover steak Okay, this is T-bone steak, and uh, or actually it's porterhouse, but um, that's a whole nother story. And I've just taken whatever vegetables we had laying around, like uh, we had an onion, and I took some mushrooms, chopped them up, and I'm gonna add a little gravy to that, but um, I'm gonna use uh, Philadelphia cream cheese as a um, binder, and I'm gonna mix it all in a bowl after I saute the onions and the mushrooms. And then I'm gonna put them in a crescent rolls, okay, uh, using the spoon, and then I'll bake them in the oven and they're delicious. Great way to use leftover steak. Now, are you gonna take the crescent rolls and try to make like a ring with them, like a wreath? A ring? Of course. <laughs> yes, I can make a ring or I can make individuals and so what I do, you get it like eight pieces for each one. And so you can make that into a ring or you can make it to individuals. I do both. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. We ready? Yeah. We, are we online? Yeah. On the air? Go. Okay. I have taken some gravy that I found in the refrigerator. Okay, this is actually a chicken gravy, but the great thing about this recipe is you can improvise and add different stuff. And I've done this once before and it rocked the gravy. You just don't want to put too much gravy in there. So I've put this much compared to this. And what I'm gonna do is when the uh, when I do the sauteed vegetables, I'm gonna put them on top of the gravy, which will melt the gravy. Then I'm gonna mix the meat in and I'll put a little bit of the cream cheese, but it does maybe a quarter bar is all you need as a binder. And then you stir it all up with a spoon and it it's, you know, hard enough to be able to uh, put on the crescent rolls. Okay, now I'm sauteing the onions. I use a little butter and a little olive oil in here. I like to start them first because they take a little bit longer than the mushrooms. Okay, thank you, sugar bumps. I am now adding the mushrooms. Now, what I've done is, is your personal preference, I put salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder on the onions as I was sauteing them. And the mushrooms will pick that up. And I think you just get more flavor when your vegetables doing that for you, Skippy. Okay. Um, what I'm doing is I'm cutting um, the cream cheese up into little blocks which will melt, okay, hopefully when I put the sautéed onions and mushrooms on top of those, and we'll then mix the meat in. So I'm using only about a quarter of a eight ounce bar cream cheese. Yes, and the only reason I'm doing it this way this time is because I've got, I'm using gravy as sort of a binder also. So I, you, you asked me if the, I wanted the gravy to melt completely, and no, I don't necessarily need it to melt completely. I want it to have a little bit of viscosity. So it will sort of act like a binder to keep all the ingredients together when I load them into the crescent rolls. Right, so I stir, stir, stir. And see, it's melting in quite nicely. That's what I'm looking for. Kind of a, kind of a thick mixture. It should be easy to spoon out.
this would be another good time to add any spices you want to add. The only thing I'm going to do is when I put the meat in there, I'm going to hit it with a little Worcestershire sauce, or you can use soy sauce just to give the meat a little bit more flavor. Okay, now it's time for the steak. Slide it in there like so. Try to get it all in the bowl. Okay, I'm going to spread it out because I'm going to hit this with a little Worcestershire sauce. Okay, this just add a little more flavor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do I grease my pan? This one doesn't need it. Okay, this one does. So I've got this nifty, handy dandy little sprayer. Okay, with olive oil. And then you can spread it around the pan. I usually use a paper towel. But I'm in a hurry now because I'm on the air. So I do my ring in here. And then I make the individual ones in the copper colored pan. Okay, now we're getting somewhere to him. He is wrestling out the Piggly Wiggly Crescent Rolls, which was about the equivalent of a gorilla pawing through, I don't know what, but it, it looked rough. But it always turns out good. I've never watched him do this. Yes, uh, problem is these are not cooperating, and I need your total cooperation. Okay, these are coming out better, and I'm not making now. Actually, I I use this pan for a ring, okay. But I'm doing this. It's kind of stromboli style. I'm going to put the ingredients down the middle, and then I'm going to roll these up around it. So I've got a couple more places that I can do for my stromboli, you might call it. One more. Yeah, just the like of that. Okay, yes, I've been using Piggly Wiggly generic brand, but it turns out they don't uh, roll out near as good as the Pillsbury. And you can use, when you, if Pillsbury goes on sale, you can get them same price. So now I'm making the individual ones in this pan and you, I think you get about eight in each one hey, hey. Hey. sometimes things don't want to cooperate so you have to use brute force you ready so I'm going to have, um, just set the oven at preheat to 350 and you can go 325, but you're going to cook these until they uh, brown on the outside. And so now you want to add your mixture. Yeah, it looks like a lot, but these things will stretch around and really all you want to do is hold these, hold the ingredients in. Yes, and now I've probably put the most ingredients I've ever put.
put in these things. But all this has been cooked before. And we start to wrap it up. Wrap it up. You can watch my uh, technique, okay? First I get it wrapped around, good. And now we work it, working it, yeah. Check that out. You'll be amazed at how much you can stuff in here because these things will stretch and this is going to feed us for about a week now for the individual ones yeah notice I'm going to roll this okay as I roll it up because I want to keep the ingredients on the inside so I'm going to start with the big end Roll it up just like that. A little flap over it. Yeah. But here's the Jarred Up January apron. Okay, get one if you can. And check out the videos. There's some really good Jarred Up January videos. What are the videos about? Canning and cooking. No, just canning. Just canning? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The whole month of January, every day, there's a different canning video from one of 11 participants. And you can get this beautiful apron, and it is lovely and a very good quality, with pockets on Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E dot com, and go to Sutton's, S-U-T-T-O-N-S, Days, D-A-Z-E. She designed the apron and had them made, and we love the quality of it. We only have one, and we have to share it. That reminds me of the Zazoff Boys. You ever heard of the Zazoff Boys? No. They were a band. One of them grins his ass off, sings his ass off, picks his ass off, and they were the Zazoff Boys. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm done. Wait, I can't find the button. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take the individual ones out because they have browned nicely. Okay, and that's what you're looking for. They are hot. But... I only used cooked meat in here. I've used kielbasa, I've used cut up steak, chicken, but make sure it's cooked. You don't want to put raw meat in there. It doesn't cook long enough. Now I extract from the oven a nicely browned crescent roll. And of course you can, don't try to get the whole thing in your mouth at once. Slice it up, because you'll choke scratch your eyes out or something okay so we picked out the cutest little um, individual crescent roll we could find okay and it's really cute I think it sort of looks like a breast but anyway then we cut it in half to show you what's inside still very hot but this is very delicious want to try it no, it's too hot. Yes, it's too very hot. Be careful. That looks great. Oh yeah, I can touch what's in there and it is burning hot. 